And hello everyone, this time we have Microsoft Flight Simulator, so let's get to the settings. Now I use DLSS at quality, also DirectX 11, and all those sub settings are completely maxed out. Also photogrammetry is enabled. And there are other few settings which I am showing you right now. Not sure if they are important, but yeah, just in case you wanted to know. So for this video, I am showing mostly one scenario, and that is New York. So there are a few things that I wanted to talk about. So the first one is the photogrammetry setting, which really improves visual fidelity, at least in this city, but also reduces FPS as well. So without it, I had around of 40 to 45 FPS on average compared to what you see now. Now another setting is that this game has DirectX 12, but it performs worse on my setup. So here are the results. For that particular benchmark, I used exactly the same route and I calculated the FPS as I did here in this video. Just a little bit shorter path. So this city is one of the most demanding scenarios that I could find. Also, I will show you very briefly the London airport quote unquote take off but I couldn't manage that because I'm very very inexperienced in the simulator and in general in flight simulators I never really played those except the very first one that I played it was in 2003 I think but at the time my main objective was mostly just to crash planes <laughs> so yeah it was long time ago but well, 20 years fast forward and I still crashed those planes, but for different reasons, so yeah. <laughs> I guess not much has changed since then. So anyways, I installed this simulator on my HDD. I was tracking the usage of that and I don't think that SSD would help in any way. Because my HDD wasn't loaded at all, like very briefly and very rarely I could see some spikes but in general I think HDD should be fine considering that the base game takes about 150 gigabytes of storage so yeah that's quite a lot now later I will show you the performance of my triple 4k resolution in this simulator it will be maybe in a couple of weeks maybe in one or so but yeah, the DLSS will help a lot in that scenario. As you can see from GP utilization, even if I disable DLSS, it wouldn't change the performance at all because I'm mostly and severely CPU limited. In case you are wondering, there wouldn't be any performance difference between DLSS on and off in my case. I just like the way it looks at the LSS at quality setting. Sure, there are a few ghosting issues, but for the most part, I really don't notice them at all. If you are sensitive to it, I could recommend turning it off, but for the most part, I really don't see a reason why to disable that. So unlike any other game or simulator, in this one, I wouldn't have any issues playing at 30 FPS. or in some cases higher than that is more than playable and I wouldn't have any issues with these settings and honestly I don't think that 60 FPS in this simulator is necessary at all unlike in FPS games or racing games so as always I'll leave you with the gameplay check timestamps down below if you're interested in some particular detail and yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. So bye bye for now.